Have you guys seen this site where you can craft your own emojis out of the other emoji bits? Within reason? I call this one, Be Not Afraid. This emoji was present during the writing of Revelation in the Bible. It's telling me to be not afraid, but I am afraid because one of its eyes is completely out of whack. Sometimes I blow on my ice cream before I take a bite. I have no idea why. Brain. Food is very temperature. Also brain. No worry. Learned from soup. Know what do? This is the tone in which my brain talks about everything. I think all of our brains talk like that. Some people just might be a little afraid to admit it. And I don't know why. I am finally off after 11 hours. I work at an infectious disease lab. What about yourself? Uh, oh gosh, like you make the diseases or are against them? Coming home after a long and difficult shift at the disease factory. I'm joining the war on diseases. On the side of the diseases. <laughs> I would be too. Do you ever get a wave of nostalgia for a hyperfixation that's never coming back with the same sort of melancholy with which you mourn a lost childhood friend? Like, you consumed my every waking moment for six entire months, and now I haven't thought about you in years. I miss that passion. Well, this one just straight up ruined my day. What do you know? Me fills a water gun with printer ink. Also me. I don't even need a Wii U to have fun. If you bought a 16 mil cartridge of ink at $18 and a 2500 mil Nerf Super Soaker Barrage at $15.99, it would cost about $2,828.49 to fill it with ink once. I like how you said it would cost about while providing the exact number. <laughs> Why do we do this? And hey, yeah, finally, something that's more expensive to shoot than a minigun. Masks and helmets that hide someone's face in such a way that they become the face themselves, my beloved. These are all creatures to me. Well, Bottom Middle's only a creature because he was a bad guy or a monster in the second live-action Scooby-Doo movie. <laughs> okay, what was his name? I legitimately can't remember. Fun movie, though, I love it. Some people on this website wholeheartedly believe a cat will only try to bite its owner if it's under traumatizing levels of stress. I assure you, cats will bite for a variety of reasons up to and including fun and me time. My cat does this all the time. My favorite trope is janitor in headphones continues cleaning through extreme action. I've been the janitor in headphones before, and trust me, it's an act. We just don't want to be involved in the nonsense. That is completely fair. I was kind of hoping that after the video game Control that the trope would evolve into, oh, the janitor wearing headphones is some otherworldly, multi-dimensional, godlike being. Do my job really got me wasting 66 donuts, but if I bite one, I'm gonna get fired. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Isn't that so cool? Yeah! Throw it all out. We waste food on purpose here, okay? I think copyright infringement should be legalized everywhere for any reason at all, forever. I think copyright infringement should be legalized everywhere for any reason at all, forever. This is my own original idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> Okay, calm down. Party rockers in the house tonight. I'm terrified of what the original image might be. That comment made me realize how lucky some people can be, going your whole life ignorant of the Zootopia abortion comic. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, we've all seen some messed up stuff on the internet before, but you know you've been to that sodium website and seen some of the most weird messed up stuff you've ever imagined could exist. Oh god, I see the- I, I gotta zoom in, but I see the images from far away. Ugh. The way artists draw themselves is so funny. Like, we all make ourselves look like exhausted gremlins, and then there's <clears throat> Elmer Butch Hartman, who managed to make his self-insert OC look like a complete and total douchebag. I literally have never seen a man to be so self-absorbed. To be? That's not, that's not in there at all. Why did I read it like that? And furthermore, why the hell are you capitalizing damn near every word? OP? It gets worse. There's an actual character in The Fairly Odd Parents that's a caricature of Butch Hartman, and voiced by him, named Dr. Rip Studwell. And his defining character trait is being hot. He changed his icon because of this post specifically. <laughs> Good. Can't a man have confidence? Tumblr user type type what? Hello? I feel like this is an online equivalent to playing with a Ouija board and the demon freaking answering. Oh, oh, I did not read that that name at all. I just I blocked it out of my mind because he's not a nice person at all. I really didn't like reading more about him. Me and my brother explains how ADHD affects us. Our parents, that's not ADHD, that's normal. Me and my brother, side eye 
The call is coming from inside the house. What? It shouldn't be. Google execs used to say that the company's motto was don't be evil. Now a dozen employees have resigned in protest of its artificial intelligence drone program for the Pentagon. Three days later, Google removes don't be evil clause from its code of conduct. I always forget that Google's informal motto being don't be evil was about as comforting as a coworker having a sign at his cubicle reminding him not to snap and murder everyone in the building. As it turns out, watching the coworker remove the sign is even more ominous. Google was never a good guy. Trying to draw good feet, but not so good that people think I'm into it. You ever see a fully safer work artist draw a weirdly detailed armpit and you just know they flew too close to the sun? <laughs> They've got something secret somewhere that you're going to try and find, huh? Go back to the SALT website. Or <clears throat> the MSG website, I don't know. Was walking alone through the alley behind my apartment and saw a weird guy. So I checked that I had my pepper spray and guess the guy saw me do it because he said, don't worry, I'm more scared of you than you are of me. And I said, okay. And he said, I'm terrified of women. Happy International Women's Day to this dude, wherever he is now. The guy was just being honest, all right? Don't let your guard down, though. We always talk about giving a Victorian child a Cheeto puff or Gatorade, but what about music? If I traveled back in time and blasted God Race by Meta Room, they would absolutely perish. I swear, the users on this site are like a bunch of garment factory owners. The way they're always obsessing about what the limits of a Victorian child can endure before they perish. Well, I don't think that's really the thought process. I think it's just, I, I don't know why I'm trying to explain it. I don't care. You don't care. You think this formula is some advanced math crap? Something used to find something of something advanced math? What? No, this formula is used by Pokemon games to calculate the shaky shaky of a Pokeball when you catch a Pokemon. Is that true? Is, is that really true? Is that true? The Lincoln assassination is really just wild if you think about it for a moment. Yeah, a guy was shot in the back of the head at a... Yeah, what do you mean? The younger brother of one of the most famous actors in the country, himself a famous actor and heartthrob in his own right, killed the president in a theater and yelled, Six Semper Tyrannus, a line often associated with Brutus, a character that his brother had famously played. Like, imagine if Liam Hemsworth killed the Prime Minister of Australia at a red carpet movie premiere or something and yelled, I went for the head! And Chris had to leave the Avengers press tour to tell everyone, I swear I had nothing to do with this. Imagine how weird that would be. A whole history major, and yet, this post is the first time I fully appreciated the weirdness of the Lincoln assassination. I wasn't convinced in the beginning, because of course an assassination is a pretty wild thing. But, of course, I missed think about it for a moment, and didn't know any of those details. Well, aside from him being an actor. Came out of my dad's printer at work today. Hi. If you're reading this message, it's highly likely that your printer is exposed to the public internet via port forwarding. This means that anyone on the internet with some technical knowledge can send print jobs to your printer, or worse, try to exploit it and use it as a part of a global botnet. If you didn't intend for this, please look into disabling UPnP, Universal Plug and Play, on your router, or remove the port forwarding rule for the port 9100. A friendly cat girl hacker. Thank you very much. I bet the Mike and Zack boys, during printer problems, wish they had double-checked this. The movie details. He, him, she, her, they, them. The pronoun cinematic universe. It. Oh, what in the hell are these? That is terrifying. These 10-foot prosthetic legs are awesome. Height is a choice. Hey, it's mutant birth. That is... Woo! Wow, that's something. 10-foot prosthetic legs inspired by the mantis. By mutant birth, an artist dedicated dedicated body hacking. Too many content creators and not enough form destroyers. You know what? Hell yeah. I'm gonna start answering my parents how Donald Trump answers questions. How does he answer questions? Well, there's lots of ways he answers a question, and a lot of questions that need to be answered, and one of my close friends asks me, a good friend, he says, and I tell you, he's a good close friend. He says, we're gonna answer some good questions, and you see this guy, and this guy's got some real questions to answer. <laughs> Wave hand, I'm doing it as though you can see me. We've got a lot of real, important, good questions to answer. Greenland is farther east, west, north, and south than Iceland. For some reason, I absolutely hate this information. I don't. I think it's quite nice. We learn more about the world. Yesterday at work, these two 12-year-old boys came through my line, and I'm instantly like, oh boy, because solo children at a grocery store are always forces of chaos, good or bad. But thankfully, these ones were totally pleasant. And when I asked if they wanted a receipt, one of them pulled out a random freaking receipt from his bag and asked, Do you? And y'all, I lost my sh**. What a power move. When will I ever be this funny? 
honestly, there's some sort of snark magic that you have at a specific age. Tweens to, I don't know, late teens, I guess, for the most part. I say late teens, but I mean like 12 to 16. That's what I really mean. There's seriously some magic in there when it comes to trying to be funny. I don't know, maybe it's a certain fearlessness. You'll try everything so you're funnier overall and... You know, thanks to cringe culture, everything sucks now, but I, I don't know, there's just something about it, it's great. They're magical! Is it really possible for a vampire and a Republican presidential candidate to be in a relationship? Synopsis. Morbius gets magically transported to the tail end of Jeb Bush- No, 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 uh-uh. When I say I'm never leaving this site- What? 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 Finish it! Finish it! I had a long and vivid dream where I accidentally invited the ghost of Alexander Hamilton into my house and he just sort of followed me around and scoffed at my essay writing, and eventually I tried to hire an exorcist, but the exorcist turned out to be Thomas Jefferson, and they got into a fistfight in my kitchen. Everything I remembered about U.S. history got replaced with this. Doesn't sound too bad to me. U.S. history was pretty... dry and boring and stupid. This is way more fun. This motherfucker is hideous. I'll kill you. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. I don't know why you gotta call a homeboy ugly. Look at him, he looks fine. Amusement park in Berlin left to nature's devices. <laughs> it was left to nature's devices because the owner got caught importing a roller coaster with 180 kilos of Peruvian co- inside of it. Okay, that detail doesn't really make anything more interesting. It was, in the end, still left to nature's devices. Sure. You added some context that may have made the story a little funnier, but you're acting like this was some kind of, um, actually, you're forgetting about this very important detail that makes this mic drop moment even cooler for me. Dude, chill the fuck out. It's a funny picture of an abandoned swan boat. The people who get pissed about the idea of having wider seats on airplanes for fat people are overlooking the fact that they'll also get more room on the plane. I, I, I doubt that so freaking hardcore. What they're gonna do is create wider seats specifically for certain passengers, sit them in a specific area or two of the plane, they can't have them in one area because it'll create a weight distribution problem for sure, and then your ass and my ass are gonna be stuck in the same size seats. They're not just going to make every seat on the plane bigger. No, that would be a benefit to all customers and lose them money. So don't think that for a goddamn minute they're gonna benefit everybody. Hell, knowing airlines, they'll find a way to absolutely not benefit the people they're pretending to benefit in the first place anyway. You know how businesses are. Europeans are so funny, literally. Like, I can't believe Americans don't have fresh bread. What the hell are you talking about? I can't believe Americans think their store-bought sliced bread is real bread. There are bakeries in the United States. I'm not gonna argue with a mother about bread. That is true. There are bakeries and places you can go here to get the good stuff, the real stuff. But you wanna know why we don't over here? You wanna know why we don't do that? Because we can't afford it all the time. It is more expensive. Come on now. Nothing will be more boring to me than I can't believe Americans are the scum of the earth. Sorry, that's just how we're forced to be right now. My massive apologies on behalf of Americans being way beneath you. I'm so sorry about that. I wanna be a villain so I can just saunter everywhere. The heroes are always sprinting, always running. You ever see Darth Vader run? Hell no, and I ain't about to either. This has gained over 18,000 notes in the last 24 hours, and I feel the need to tell y'all that I've never seen a Star Wars movie all the way through. When I wrote this, I was 100% relying on the trope that he didn't run in the films or some nerd was gonna drag my ass. This edition had enhanced this post 800%. Do you ever sabotage your own free time? Like, what is that about? I want to play this game or read or do something specific, but instead, I'll just stare out the window or scroll mindlessly. All the time, there are so many things I want to do, but I'm far too depressed to actually do them. I've just got constant guilt. The only high school heterosexual romance I want to see is Jot Girl and Nerd Boy. Sorry, the other ones have been too overdone. Give me a super confident basketball girl player and a guy who's a little terrified of her. Nerd Boy, scrambling for books at his locker. Basketball Girl, leans on the locker next to his like jocks do in high school movies. Let me guess, no other guy wants to go out with her because she's too tall and intimidating. Actually, no, all the basketball dudes think she's super cool, but she wants the calculus loser. Get on the chariot, we're gonna go beat the shit out of a Greek god. Like, THE Greek god. Nothing fills me with rage, quite like seeing no overnight visitors on an apartment advertisement. Like, who the hell do these random landlords think they are? To deny someone the ability to host a friend or sibling for the night, to even feel comfortable dictating the terms of a paying tenant's sex life, like, 
off all the way to hell. Hex your crappy landlord and watch their life crumble into pieces. There's a very effective hex called a tenant's union, and you can learn the sinister rituals through covens dedicated to the craft. Unionize. Stop letting your heart and your pussy choose your men. I'm confused, what's left? Oh, never mind my brain. <laughs> you're right, you're right. You really forgot your whole brain. She read this post with her pussy. <laughs> I mean, let's be fair. Who doesn't do that? I do that all the time. <laughs>